Hello, YouTubers. This is a new session where we get to talk a little bit about an oldie but goldie feature uh, that has been in the C-Sharp.NET framework since the beginning, since 2002, about 23 years now. But this feature, unfortunately, is not super commonly used. It's very rarely kind of approached, even though it's, it's, it's super powerful, it's very useful. And if you're building anything serious, I promise you at some point in time, you're going to run into a scenario where you kind of start wondering how do I solve this problem and this can come in very handy. Today I'm going to talk to you about flags in C Sharp. Being able to determine that something or some entity or a service or a person has some options, right? So options that allows them to perform operations or not perform operations or anything like that. Um, Flags also, you know, is something you're probably super familiar with, which is enums, right? So you're using enums, but we're going to make enums really interesting today with C Sharp. So let's just go ahead and try and see what this is all about. I'm going to go ahead and say enum and just type permissions. These are permissions. I'm going to write write. Uh, let's start with read. Read and then write. So these are two permissions. And we want to basically kind of represent one of these permissions. So I'm going to go here and say permissions, permission, permission, equals permission.read, like this. And I'm going to console right line this guy, and I'm just going to go and say permission, permission, like that. So if I print this guy as is, just as it stands right now, and go and run my system, .NET run, if you're in the CS project directory, it's going to go ahead and print read right? Which is great, right? But what if I want to later, let's say this is a an entity or a system, and I want to give them read and write. You could have write alone, you could have read alone, and you can have read and write, which is the permutations of all of this. How do you go about doing something like that? Well, for starters, some people might say, well, we just need to combine them, right? So can we do something like something silly, like something like this, right? That's, that's of course, not allowed. Some other people will say, well, what if I did this? Like if you put a pipe in there between these two permissions, if you look up here, this is close to the right answer, but unfortunately that won't work. And I'm going to show you now um, that it won't work. And then I'm going to tell you why it doesn't work. So if you go and run again, it will show you write, but it doesn't show you read. Well, that's a problem, right? Because you want to see all the options, all the permissions that this user has. Well, it turns out that if you want to do operations like these, you're going to have to use bitwise operations. So you can't actually start, like the enum will start from zero and then one, and then if I put another permission, it will be two, three, four. You can't do that. You're going to have to work with um, uh, an accumulation to the power of two, right? So you, with read, you're going to have to start from, say, one, and then here you're going to start doing two, and if you add something else, it's going to have to be four, and then 8, and then 16, and so on and so forth. Let's see if this, if what we just did actually works. If I go here and say run this guy, it prints a number, right? But the number is the combination that's, that's closer to the answer because the number is a combination of this guy and that guy, right? Which means that it's kind of working, but it's not giving me the output that I want. Like before, it printed right and it printed read, but now it's giving me a number, which is kind of lame because now I can't understand what kind of permissions this guy have. Let's try and put dot two string here. Just out of curiosity, I'm going to throw two string here. It's not the right answer, but let's just put the, that in here and then run like this. It's still printing three. How do I make enums print a list of the actual permission that a user has or a, a system has or whatever? All you have to do, and this is out of the box, if you just type flags up here, so this annotation here, that you just decorate your enum with, with, with this uh, flags annotation. Now if I go and run this guy, watch this. Read write. How cool is that? That's pretty cool, right? Um, you could use the exact same idea to add permission down the road. Like you don't have to do this at the initialization level. If you go and say something like this, Here's the pipe, equal, and then do that right like this. That's still going to work, right? Because obviously it's the same thing, right? Like It's like when you say plus, or you know, you're adding something or accumulating something. Anyone who's familiar with C-sharp will know that this is a very, very common thing. But let me just prove it to you because 
this is for learning purposes here read and write no problem okay what if I want to remove, let's go back to our initial state, which is that per, this person has both read and write. What if I want to remove, you know, a permission? I want to take away a permission from from that. I'm going to go here and say permission. This one is a little, a little weird, but it actually works. If you do like a little tilde and then do permission and say, you know, write. So take away the write permission, but keep the read permission. Let's go and run this guy in here. There you go. And now it keeps the read permission. OK. OK. How do I check? Let's say you have 20 permissions, 2,000 permissions, whoever. <clears throat> How do I check that someone has a particular permission? Like I want to check that I still have the read permission or the write permission, whatever the case may be. You can go up in here and say permission has flag. Watch this. Watch this and then permissions dot read so your enum has an out of the box capability that says has flag right and this has flag will tell you whether that guy has the permission or not check it out let's go run this guy again it says true so it does have the read permission now let's try it with the write permission which is the one that we just removed and run this guy again. <laughs> I broke something. Let's see. Oh, I have a, I have a compilation error. Let's do that. Let's throw this in. Let's run this. It says false. You see that? False, right? So, so reading, writing. Okay, we 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 added things. We removed things. Beautiful, right? If you want to add your permissions in a database, right, all you have to do is just convert them to an int and then pull that int back, right? I'm going to show you how to do that super quick. Like if I go here and say, remember how we did permissions, if you do int like this and say permissions like that, this guy, even though you have the flag in here, it will basically go in and say, yeah, that's, that's a value of one. If you want to convert that value of one back, into whatever you're trying to do, you can literally cast that back into permissions like this and then run again and it'll basically say you are back to read. So you're saving it in the database, you know, as as a thing, you know, you, you kind of convert it into int and then pull it back from the database and map it into <clears throat> whatever you like. One last trick I want to show you before the end of this video. Uh, basically, I want to show you like what it, what if you want to check that it has multiple permissions? Like we went and said, okay, you have you have permission that has flag like this, and this has flag. You know, we'll let you kind of put an enum flag in there. So you basically go and say, I don't know, permission permissions dot read like that, and it will basically go and check if you have that permission and all that fun stuff. Okay. So what if you have multiple, like you want to check for multiple permission, are you just going to permutate and iterate? No, there's a cooler way of doing this. You could go down here and say all, okay, and then you can just say read and write. That's like a, like a super cool way of doing it, right? You basically say, okay, permissions, read and write. So I can go here and say, does this person have all permissions? Obviously the answer will be no or false because... Uh, we took away the right permissions. But if I take that permission away and go back and run this guy, it'll basically say, yes, true, this person has all these permissions. Um, I'm trying to intentionally keep this super vague and super generic so you can go out there and kind of experiment with that. Like I said to you, this is a super old capability, and I love to bring up things that are, have been long kind of forgotten or um, uh, not very much used anymore that can actually enrich your experience. I'm pretty sure as you're seeing this video, if you're already working on a system, there's a million things you already thought about that can help you kind of use this capability to do something with it. I hope you find this useful. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please feel free to drop a comment in the comment section. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Take care.